from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. And for some, quite a few, it has been a disaster of a summer as far as trying to grow crops and anything like that. Here's a, a map of the uh, last time that there was like a quarter inch of rain fell at any one given time. And you can go back 70 days, just not too far from around the Ada area, just to the southwest of McAllister. Now, McAllister had rain today of over a quarter inch, but again, it's not much. But this, these are amazing numbers when you get into this orange color because you're between 60 and 70 in most of those areas. And that's, a, that's the middle of the summer when you need the rain the worst. And that's just when it hasn't happened. So the last two months, the worst of the season usually is in the summer when it's growing season you want rain and it just has this big pocket down here now if you're in the east side it's been better it's been a lot better and then out in the west it's been better but that hasn't stopped the drought from going on so out in the panhandle around Guyman, there's still big issues going on we have a lot of issues still across southern kansas and northeastern oklahoma and then the so uh, southern half of oklahoma is just like man we gotta find some water pretty fast and there is a chance we can but i tell you texas is even worse they've been selling cattle they hardly have any crops because everything burned up there's just a few pockets here and there that have uh, had enough rain to be significant enough to kind of keep farmers and ranchers going but a lot of folks had to give up and as the season growing season starting to come to an end that's when we start to see some rain chances over the next seven days these are two to five inches of rain from southern Oklahoma down into eastern and central Texas but you get up in our area notice that is not what we want to see up in southeast Kansas or around Tulsa or to the northeast that's not a whole lot of rain here's our fall forecast great drier than normal so we got to snag some rain someplace this takes us all the way into november what about heat it's supposed to be warmer than normal overall from september october and november we're going into la nina for the third time it looks like for the winter that's unprecedented so we have never seen that happen before as long as records have been kept it is pretty significant as far as that's concerned obviously 78 a little bit of a heat index because the humidity levels are just popping up a tad bit but not much we're sitting in the 70s and we're sitting at 71 right now in bixby down to 70 in Coweta and prior that's where the cool folks are hanging out right now as far as looking across the region we're having temperatures in the 70s oh bristol's uh, caught up and even gone cooler you guys are cool at 67 or 68 over Fayetteville tonight will all be in the 60s. Wouldn't be surprised if one valley or two could be around 58, 59 up around Bartlesville and up in Nowata County. We're looking at temperatures though back to summer tomorrow in the 90s. Notice though there are some showers and a few thunderstorms up to the north tomorrow afternoon. A few of those will clip in the northern part of our viewing area. So if you're in Independence, Coffeeville, Bartlesville, you have a better chance of a storm late tomorrow night into Saturday morning. The rest of us kind of have to wait, and there could be a few flare-ups of storms in the afternoon. And so if you're going to be out in an area lake, be advised that there could be a blow-up and there could be some gusty winds. Better chance of rain out in the panhandle. So we have to wait till that storm system out in the panhandle starts to move east. That'll be on Sunday, and as that moves to the east, better chances of rain come in Sunday afternoon and could be moderate to occasionally heavy, especially once we get into southern Oklahoma Sunday night into Monday morning. And we'll have temperatures in the 60s in the morning and then the afternoon most of the rain is out of the picture temperatures will be back into the 80s across the area with partly cloudy to cloudy skies so the odds of rain are very slim for friday except in southeast kansas you guys have a better chance 20 30 percent for friday friday night and then our better chances around tulsa would be peaking sometime in the morning to noontime hours on sunday and then dropping off as we get on into early monday there's still a slight chance of a few pop-up storms later into next week but there isn't a, a big big chance at this time so we're hoping Area lakes, it shows where it's been getting dry. You can see some of the reds showing one to three feet below. Illinois River looks great as we head to the weekend. You'll just have to watch out for a few thunderstorms, and that's about it. Otherwise, water levels are good. Tomorrow, really good and cool to get you going. School, second day for many, and it's been a week or more for some. Temperatures in the 60s, jumping up to the 80s. By the time we get into 4 o'clock, we're at 93. Yeah, it's like, okay, there's still a little summer hanging out there. And we're looking for the chance of rain late Saturday, Saturday night, mainly in Tulsa, a little bit better chance north earlier. And then our best day is Sunday, 78 and off and on rain. Wow. Maybe not a day to play golf, but maybe a day to just be thankful for some rain and cooler weather.